Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video, we're doing spring trends that I love and I'm really excited for it. It's like my favorite seasonal video to do. Um, I try to do one for all the different seasons and yeah, I think we just get into it because I have a few, so it's gonna take a little while. Also, before we do, I have tried to make this list as original as possible. I've tried not to look at other YouTubers' videos to see what they're recommending. And I know for a fact that leopard print is something everyone's talking about. So there's gonna be no mention of leopard print other than the fact that I don't like the trend and it will be appearing in next week's trends I don't like video. Um, but yeah, let's get into it with some hopefully unique trends that are also wearable and maybe you even also have in your wardrobe already. Okay, first one is pink gingham. I absolutely love this. Gingham is such a like springy, summery pattern to me. It literally reminds me of like picnic blankets and just like summer. So pink gingham, obviously pink is a trending colour for this season. No one is going to be shocked by that but I think this is a really nice way to wear pink in a way that doesn't feel too much. Gingham like introduces some other colors. You can have like pink and white, you can have pink, white, and like another little color interjected, which I think is really sweet. Um, you probably already know this if you watched my other video where I mentioned what I didn't buy in February because I was talking about that Damson Matter vest that was pink gingham and how I was potentially going to buy that. But it turns out I actually bought the blue one, which I can't wait to show you guys. But yeah, I think they probably cemented pink gingham in my mind as being on trend because as soon as I saw that, I really, really wanted one and I'm still contemplating. This is a really nice one to shop for in vests, like I said, but also in like puffy long skirts that are really summery because I think that can be such an easy way to interject colour into your wardrobe. Um, you probably have something that would play really nicely with this. Like if you have like a milkmaid top like mine, that would be so cute with like a pink gingham skirt or, you know, just like any like white vest just goes really nicely with pink gingham. So it's probably a really wearable trend and I'd say easier to wear than maybe some of the others. The next one is an accessory that I've just been thinking about constantly and maybe this is why it's made the list and no other reason, but like big sunglasses. I am obsessed because like in recent years, it feels like we've all gone for the like cat eye sunglasses. I know I have, but I feel like big sunglasses are gonna make a resurgence. Like everyone's kind of bored of the slim shape. And this is a really easy one to thrift. I know I'm kind of thinking about getting some tortoiseshell ones with like yellow eye, eye pieces. Is that how you say it? I've always wanted a pair and I was talking about this in my other video. So I think I will be look on the lookout to thrift some like this. I wanna find like a perfect retro pair. I don't wanna find like a Depop pair that's like slightly off and there's potentially drop shipping from AliExpress. Like I'm on the lookout for an actual vintage certified pair and I think that's what's cool. But if the like brown and yellow isn't your vibe, I think you could get away with like any color as long as the glasses themselves are big. Like we're going bold this spring summer. Next one, no surprise if you watch this channel, puffy vests. They're so cute. And I feel like they're, you know, a couple of seasons old, potentially. Like they were definitely trending, like a quilted puffer or a quilted jacket was trending maybe like two, three years ago. But I just think they're absolutely timeless. Like you could get away with wearing this every spring, summer because it's such a good transitional piece. If you want to put away all your winter coats, I know I'm so sick of wearing my white fluffy winter coat now but it's still too chilly to just be out in like a t-shirt or just a jumper, then throwing on a quilted vest or a quilted jacket is just perfect. And they're always available in really cute springy like floral patterns, which I love. Um, obviously I'm partial to gingham too. And I think the, obviously the blue one I've bought is in a pattern as well that's not floral, but I just think it's just timeless. It's just classic. It's really easy to thrift. It's also really easy to shop from Damson Matter, a sustainable small brand, or like any other sustainable small brand. I actually saw um, a TikTok the other day of a girl who 
hand sewed one from like leftover vintage fabric and I think that's amazing and I think she sells her patterns so I'll try and link that in the description if that's like your vibe because I think the more personal and eclectic you go here the better and it's just so I just love it I love it every season I've wanted it for every season since it came out and I'm happy I'm finally getting a version and I will probably be trying to find another version because I know I want to buy into this style okay next one is like it's just a vibe it's two colors together that I have been really loving and it's coffee and cream I just love it i don't know what it is about this color combo i don't necessarily think it's you know cutting edge trend i think it's been around maybe a little bit but for me at least it is a new discovery and i am just obsessed with finding ways of trying to put them together for example i have like cream corduroy trousers and a brown bag and i've been wearing that quite a bit but I need to find some, some way of bringing that into spring, summer, because I can't be wearing corduroy trousers in the height of spring. So yeah, I think even like doing this with accessories would be really, really sweet. So like a cream ballet flat, for example, and a brown bag, like I said, or like a brown slip dress with a cream cardigan is just perfect. Okay, let's go on to more vibes i guess for spring rather than like specific pieces i think tennis is going to be massive this season the reason i first thought of this was because of the zendaya challenges like movie trailer that i saw and just got so hyped about and then i just thought like zendaya is such a fashion icon she and if her press tour is based on the same way she's done june or like margot robbie did barbie where they really got into the character then I could just see her completely influencing the masses to do tennis and do like the cutest way of doing tennis. Like her and Law, I'm sure will just come up with gorgeous creations. But for mere mortals like us, I think the trend is gonna be toned down a little bit. It might just be like tennis skirts. It might just be like tank tops. Um, I've seen a couple of designers on the runway doing like, I'd say more wearable versions of this and i think zendaya is going to be wearing kind of like headbands or what would you what do you call them like visors like knee socks and mini skirts that kind of vibe like very sporty chic very like athletic chic and i'm just really excited also i've seen a lot of pastel in this trend and i think maybe this is hinting at a wider sort of trend of pastel trying to come back I don't really love it. I'm not a massive fan of pastel. I think it's really like little girly, but I could see it in like small doses potentially. But like some of these pieces where it's like completely like pastel blue, it's just not really, not really working for me. But these looks from Lacoste is exactly what I'm talking about and what I'm particularly referencing here. Like this green is so perfect. What would you put like an emerald green potentially? But I, I love the way it's like hidden in this white top and it's just like a strip of it. I think that's perfect. And I think this is kind of like just the vibe I'm talking about, like very like pleated, very like athleisure meets just like every day. I am obsessed. I think it's giving like texture. It's giving like very fresh spring summer. Okay, next kind of vibe is I don't think mermaid core is going to be going anywhere. I feel like we've seen it a lot on the runways happening right now for autumn winter, like a very like blue eyeshadowy very like dewy skin very like slicked back almost oily hair and i feel like that's just gonna be perfect for spring um and we're just gonna be seeing all the it girls wearing it or like continuing to wear it i guess but also like there's a couple of things that are kind of saying mermaid call to me without being like a direct link like flared skirts and hems or like the flared peplum topping back kind of say mermaid calls me obviously the skirt makes more sense than the top but like just the flare silhouette feels really mermaid um also pearl chokers if you watch i can't remember what video it was but i spoke about wanting a vivian westwood choker um and that still stands i'm still like thinking about it but it's quite a big purchase 
um but just like even just like a plain pearl choker or like a longer string of pearls if that's your vibe i feel like just like pearly iridescent blue shimmery flared silhouettes is all kind of saying mermaid core so there's like different ways you could fit into this trend if you like it i think subtler is nicer like I'm, no one's going out dressed like ariel but like i don't know about putting two of these different aspects of the trend together i feel like it might be too much so like more subtle references might be the way to go in my opinion if you want to go fully aerial and like you know do the most in the street then that is your vibe and i love that for you but yeah i don't think i'm going to be doing the eyeshadow i'm not a massive eyeshadow person but like the slick tear the pearls not the peplum tops we all know i hate a peplum top but yeah just like subtle references is the way i'm gonna go next one is more like fabrics it's like tulle and sheer fabrics i think are not going anywhere and they're just gonna keep growing and i really love both of them i love the drama of tulle i love the drama of sheer i don't know how much i'm gonna be buying into this trend i know you could definitely thrift some vintage pieces like that vintage sheer lace skirt that i've been seeing everywhere i do really love but not for me but like it just goes to show that there's so many vintage ways you could be styling this trend um and i think that does lend a certain cool girl vibe to it like buying a sheer piece or buying a tulle piece right now i don't know if it would be the right quality to give the right effect but if you're buying vintage if you're buying second hand from like you know i don't know when the like golden age of these fabrics were but like from the 90s at least when brands were actually using good fabric i feel like you'll get the desired effect okay last one is a little bit strange because it sounds like it should be fitting more into autumn winter but bear with me it's like super fuzziness and i think partially because this has been on the runways recently for autumn winter 24 i've just been seeing it loads but i just love the texture of this fabric and i really really want to shop it um i think i'll be shopping it though in like sweaters or knitwear so you could kind of turn it into a spring summer trend like say you have a day at the beach you're wearing like shorts and a tank or whatever but you always bring something to cover up in i feel like the cover up being in this fuzzy material would just be so cute i don't know what it is i don't even know if anyone else is going to get this vibe but in my mind it's just picture perfect like i know this is what i know this is the vibe maybe it's not for everyone but it is the vibe for me yeah that is all of my trends for this spring probably what will happen is i have to do another video on like micro trends as london comes into spring and i see more but for right now these are kind of like more predictions i guess and we'll see what actually takes shape on the streets on tiktok but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you have a lovely day and i will speak to you really soon Bye.